Let's go see if we can meet somebody and see what kind of astronomical quote they're about to try to hit me with, with, you know, some sheetrock and finishing work. I'm about to tell you right now, though, I ain't in the mood for no games. So you better come correct with your pricing. After all, we've already been through. Alrighty, folks, in the big old box truck, and where we are is right here. Welcome to the Delta Hotels, local to where we are. And folks, I'm getting ready to go attend a seminar to learn how to buy and sell and flip houses. Now, I've heard a couple of things about this seminar. I've heard that it could be this and it could be that, and they're going to want you to spend money, and folks, we know. We know that's how it could be. But let's hope that it's something better. Because if it's not, oh, you already know what it is. If it's not, Joe's going to try to uh, to tell y'all exactly what it really is. But I'm hopeful going into this that uh, maybe I'll get some insightful information. It, this is hosted by Than Merrill. And he's like this big, big HGTV guy. He's been all over Facebook with this advertising. So... I'm hopeful I'm going to get a chance to meet this guy and I'm going to learn some things and maybe I'll be able to network as well with some other people who are potentially flipping. So whatever is going to happen, I'm going to tell you one thing that's not going to happen. We're not about to spend a dime in here. I can promise you that. We're going to try to do some networking. I'm going to try to get Dan Merle's autograph. And folks, once I come out of this two-hour seminar, the Jellico was supposed to accompany me on, except he got tied up with actual work, I'm going to let y'all know exactly how this goes. I'm excited. Hopefully we're going to learn something. Well, um, well, that didn't go according to plan. I've got my, I've got my name tag on, it says Joseph. That's about all I got out of that class. Folks, I didn't stay up in there all too long. Just enough to start listening to them spew out some of what you can learn from the class. And I didn't have time to stay up in there. You know, I had a game plan. I'm going to be honest with you. I had a game plan for how I wanted that to go. Uh, had today started out any different than it did or any better than it did, you know, we were going to go sit up through the class, learn the mannerisms of the sales pitch, see who we could network with in the class, and then come out and jump back on camera saying, oh my God, guess what? You'll never believe what I just spent $20,000 on. Because I've heard that's how much uh, the final class cost. And you spend that 20 grand, God only knows what you could learn from that. I'm hoping a lot. But while I was in there, I was trying to do some networking. Wasn't really working out. I think I talked to two people in total. They were both very standoffish. Uh, the first person, that conversation didn't get too far. The second person, I asked them what they did. They kind of looked like they could be into the, you know, the real estate game. I said, what do you do? I own my own business. I export goods. Oh, cool. Well, hey, guess what? I'm already flipping stuff. I felt like from the conversation that I had with this guy, like he gained more information from me than he was going to gain from that class. But I would end up having to get up and leave. And that's because... I got to get ready to go head over to the house right now, our flip house, and meet somebody over there who's supposed to give me a quote for some sheetrock and finishing work. So this guy told me he could meet me over there right now. And folks, with everything that's been going on with, you know, Brian, I feel like I've got to completely start all over. $17,000 deep starting all over. But... You know, I cannot let this be more of a setback than it already is. I'm going to be honest with you. I've told Jellico, I've told my wife, I feel dumb. I feel so dumb because I feel like I got played so bad with this situation. Paid this man, paid him even more money for the HVAC system that wasn't there at all. So, you know, trying to figure out where we go from here and... The only place I can go is trying to get work taking place again in the house. So hence the fact that we're on our way over to the house to see what all, you know, we can make happen. I'll tell you one thing though, 
whoever it is that I'm getting ready to meet over here, talking about I do drywall off of Facebook Marketplace, don't even think you about to ask me for, for no money up front. That ain't happening. But I really wish I could have more uh, insightful stuff to tell you about the Than Murrow class. I will tell you, Than Murrow wasn't there. That was absolutely heart-wrenching. But really, I'm kidding because I knew he wasn't going to be there. I knew he wasn't going to be there. I had already heard from Jellico's investor who went to this class, who spent $300 for the first class, only to go to that class and learn that they wanted $20,000 for the next class. He told me Than Murrow wasn't going to be there. But when I told the guy sitting next to me, he looked a little sad about that. Regardless, we're getting ready to head over to the house right now. That's where we're going. We're heading over to the house right now. Let's go see if we can meet somebody and see what kind of astronomical quote they're about to try to hit me with, with, you know, some sheetrock and finishing work. I'm about to tell you right now, though, I ain't in the mood for no games. So you better come correct with your pricing. After all, we've already been through. Somebody made a comment on the Bobo this morning when I first started talking about all this, and all of this was just speculation, but pretty much everything has been you know confirmed at this point but they said you know damn joe you can't never catch a break that's damn sure the way to the semen right now all right so i'm over at the house right now and i just met with some new person a guy by the name of daniel young guy uh he's gonna come in here and he's gonna end up helping do some sheetrock and do some finishing work and that's what's getting ready to take place there i want to show you guys something another mystery up inside of this house hopefully the light's going to improve there it goes we were over here weren't we since all of this stuff with brian has been taking place did we come over here one time after we did the whole bathroom unveil video I feel like we did, but I can't honestly remember. And the only reason the only reason I'm bringing that up is because of the fact that it was while I was in here talking with this guy Daniel about sheetrock and finishing work, you know, all of this was supposed to be done already. Brian was supposed to do all the sheetrock. You know, he was supposed to take care of all of this. So we're still going to be cutting out this wall to put a window in here once we get uh, sheetrock going on. Looks like Brian's getting ready to be doing some insulation and then he's going to be hanging sheetrock. That's what you're working on today? Yeah, and then laying out this window. We watched him putting up the insulation and it was like, this is what he did. Like literally, this was this is where he stopped at. And I don't know why it was that he stopped here. There's still plenty of insulation in here. Like, what is this? What the... Just that one little piece of insulation. I don't know why it is that he stopped right there, folks. You know, you're supposed to, to grout the tile. The tile was supposed to be grouted. All of that was supposed to be grouted as well. I done brought this mirror over here. I brought the light fixture over here. Well, anyways, folks. The whole reason why, you know, I'm bringing up this next mystery is because when I was over here talking with this guy, Daniel, and showing him, you know, what needs to get done, it was when we were in the bathroom and I was telling him, you know, we need to put some sheetrock down here and we need to get all this patched and finished and, you know, ready for, ready for completion, that I was looking at the door frame and I was like, you know, we're going to be taking this door frame off and we're going to be putting this brand new this brand new door, wait a minute, that brand new door was just right there when we did the video. As a matter of fact, I was knocking on the door. All of that's coming off, and there's our brand new door right here for the bathroom. Door and door frame, so it's like, hey, yo, hey, bathroom, you good in there? Hey, I was knocking on that brand new door that was supposed to go right there. Where the hell, where's the, where's the brand new, where is the, yo, where's the door at? The door is gone. The door is MIA. It's not in the house. 
Not at all. And after I left on Tuesday, you were supposed to do the grout. You were supposed to do the, the sheetrock. That was what you told me you were going to do. You told me you were going to work late. You also told me you were going to go pick up the HVAC system. Which I already paid for and that's missing in action. Probably never even existed. But not only does it seem like you left as soon as we left. You took the damn door with you. And why would you take the door? Like that don't even make no damn sense. The door is gone. Did you take it for another job? Did you take it to go refund it? Was it the wrong size? Maybe you realized that? Like, I don't get it. It's... All my tools are here, which I'm getting ready to pack up, and they're getting ready to get the, get the F up out of here. Are these all of my tools? I know my DeWalt box is up there, probably with the meth pipe and God only knows what else. But the door... You know, forget where's Brian and where's the HVAC system. Yo, where the hell is the damn door at? We were just knocking on it in the video. Surely hope we get some damn answers. I mean, what the hell is going on? Maybe the dope mans are taking doors now. All right. I'm just getting back to the house. Got all the tools in the truck and in the back of the truck as well. Also cleaned out the truck yesterday too. You know, it's crazy because I go to this uh, Than Merrill class hoping to get, you know, knowledge and information on how to flip houses and how to do it better. Maybe you learn something. Maybe you meet some people at classes like this. But I didn't stay long enough to get anything. <laughs> no, no kind of insight. And maybe the best type of experience is experience. <clears throat> or the best type of knowledge is experience. With so many people who are doing this type of stuff, this flipping and, oh, I know how to do it. And you can pay me some money and I'm going to teach you how to do it. And I've even laughed and joked saying, you know, after I sell this house, I'm going to start doing that as well. Folks, I ain't doing nothing but learning lessons. And some of these lessons got me feeling really, really dumb. Real dumb. And this is a big one right here. And matter of fact, you know, when I told Jellico about this yesterday, Jellico, or what I had done, which was, you know, paying Brian ahead of the work, giving him deposits and draws, as they're called, draws on the money. And Jellico was like, Joe, you don't never, never, never do that. You never do that. Because 90% of the time when you do that, or maybe not 90% of the time, maybe it is with the type of people that we're dealing with, you know, felon flippers, there's a major risk that you're going to take, especially when you're giving up, uh, you know, money ahead of the work being completed. You know, try, here's a lesson right here. Here's a free lesson. Try to not pay for work ahead of the work getting done because you might find yourself in a situation like this. This whole budget is getting ready to go up out the window now. We're going to be spending a lot more than, you know, maybe even a lot more than the 30000 and I'm sad and I'm mad about this, man. I'm more mad. I, you know, Brian, I'm mad as fuck at you. But more so, I'm mad at myself. Because I always keep ending up in these dumb situations. And it's only it, it seems like it only happens to me. You know, with everything that we've learned as of late, and everything that's been going on, and we still don't even know what the hell is going on. You know, there's a lot of different ways that this could all play out. I could put charges on this man. You've already obtained money under false pretenses by telling me you were getting an HVAC unit that I paid for, and that's not for real. Construction fraud, absolutely. You've taken money without completing the work. What's going on? You know, there's a lot of different ways that this could all turn out. That's one example right there. But I hope that I do get some answers, because more importantly, I'm just mad at myself for allowing this to happen. How could I allow this to happen? I should have been more cautious. You know, when I'm over at the house and I realize that the door is missing, I start looking at other things and I start realizing how much other stuff really has not been even, you know, isn't even near completed. The electrical, the, the plumbing. God only knows what them jacks and them joists under that house look like. We really are going to need to get an inspector out here. I ask all of you, you know, if you were sitting in my shoes right now with all of this that, you know, I'm learning. You know, what would you do? 
How would you react to this and what would you do next? I'm already meeting with a new guy getting ready to have him doing the sheetrock in the house. I don't even feel like we're really ready for the sheetrock yet because we still need plumbing fixtures put in and electrical fixtures put in. I kind of feel like I don't even know where I'm at right now with this project. So when I ask all of you, you know, what would you do? You know, part of that is I'm really looking to you guys for some advice. Because I would be lying if I sat here and tried to tell you guys that I'm not feeling lost. Because I absolutely am right this second. And hopefully, I'm going to be able to figure this all out, right this ship, be able to get some answers. I deserve answers. What the f*** happened? And regardless, whatever the case may be, just figure out a way to move on and get, get this all rocking and rolling again. Because we ain't got no choice. We have to make that happen. And hopefully, we'll be able to do that sooner than later. On the road again. I just can't wait to get back on the road again. Folks, my truck is making all sorts of noises. It's sounding like ee, 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 like the fan belt squeaking, and I hate that, but there's nothing I can do about it right now, folks. There is so much stuff that is going on right now, and I don't got no answers to nothing. Brian's been MIA, a lot of speculation, a couple of text messages from his son telling me hey he got in some trouble he'll be okay later he'll hit you up did he get arrested no we've looked him up we found old mug shots of this dude but we haven't seen him locked up right now recently that's not what this is i went over to the house i went knocking on the door that was partially cracked open i know somebody was there but what if it was more than just you know, his son. What if it was them in there together? His son's grown too, by the way. Now, what if it was them in there together up to no good? You always think the worst in these type of situations. Unfortunately for us, the worst is what it is. Because though we might not know what it is, we know it's something. And with all of that brings us to what's going on right now. Folks, I'm getting ready to go back over to the house. I've got some new guys supposed to be starting work on some sheetrock i want to give a very special shout out to jellico though these new guys don't come from jellico jellico is going up and beyond in an effort to help me get experienced trades people who can help right this ship so a very special shout out to jellico but i'm getting ready to go over here and check on some sheetrock and some finishing work that's supposed to be started but also while doing that you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Why was the door missing from the job site? Folks, there's something else that I didn't see while I was over there that should have been there that Brian went and bought and I, you know, I paid him back for. And that was the electrical panel box. That was $140. There's the back door right there. And folks, bung. And what's crazy is he bought that prior to the video that we did you know, earlier this week where we were showcasing the bathroom and how good that turned out. God, I look like I'm in the witness protection. He bought that, I think, two days prior to that. So I had saw, had seen the panel box over at the house, maybe like the day before. But then on Tuesday, I don't remember seeing the panel box. And I don't remember seeing it when I was over there realizing that the door was missing. If, in fact, the panel box is gone, too, this all leads me to believe that this dude is getting high. Getting super duper high. And not only that, you know, going and getting things and returning them so that he can go smoke, you know, crack or meth or whatever the hell he's doing. I'm hopeful that this panel box is, I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's there or it's not. The door is gone. Where's the door at? You know, maybe he was trying to dig himself out of one ditch by continuing to dig himself into this ditch here. Maybe he used the door and the panel box for another job, thinking, well, once I get paid a little bit, I'll go buy it again out of my own pocket. But whatever, if that was the logic, you know, it's gotten far beyond what he's able to fix. You know, I've, I've asked people too, like, what would you do in my situation? How would you handle this? And I've gotten a lot of mixed results and a lot of mixed a lot of mixed responses, not results, but a lot of mixed responses. And 
You know, I want to thank everybody who's been offering me suggestions on what to do. And also, I hope you guys kind of feel for me a little bit. I know I always mess everything up and everything always gets messed up that I'm a part of. Cleaning business, moving business, this house. Now, I've read comments to say maybe it's Joe. Maybe Joe's the problem. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not good at anything. Maybe all I'm ever good at is prison YouTube and I just ought to sit in front of the camera and just be doing prison stories. Forever. I wouldn't have no problem with that neither, but damn, I'm trying to step outside the box a little bit. You try to give dudes an opportunity to work. Brian's a convicted felon with a shitload of charges, as we have just recently learned from all of the investigating we've been doing on this dude. He's got quite an extensive criminal history, a lot, lo a lot longer than what he told me originally that it was. But when you try to give dudes a chance with a criminal record, this is a part of that risk that comes along with it. It should be expected, but really it shouldn't be. You would think that people would be grateful. And even if they do go trick something up, they trick themselves up and not what you have been trying to provide for them. Rarely ever is that the case. Rarely ever is it that you're gonna trick something up and only have that affect yourself. Usually it's gonna start as a, a pebble at the top of a mountain that's gonna snowball all the way down into a damn av avalanche taking everything along with it. So again, we're on our way over to the house. Let's go see if these new guys have gotten there to get started on this sheetrock because I don't trust anybody at this point. And let's go see if we can find this electrical panel box. All right, back over at the house. I don't think I showed you guys this. This was everything that Pee Wee did when I had Pee Wee working, trying to get all of this cleaned up. And now it just looks like a monster mess on the side of the house. We were waiting on the box truck to be able to get that loaded up. Uh, but Brian cost me that as well. It is what it is at this point, I guess. All right. So my dudes who are doing the sheetrock, they're about to be here. And let's go ahead and get up inside of here. And first of all, that is rare. That was where... The electrical panel box was right up underneath the the original electrical panel box. It was right there in the box. I remember seeing it. And maybe he moved it. Maybe he moved it. All right. So looking around in here. Whole bunch of stuff. Not in there. Could it be in here? It should be in here, right? It should be. It's not. It's not in here. Okay? It was in a decent sized box. And it's not in here. Anywhere in here? Nope, there's tile. So not only is the door missing, but the electrical panel box is as well. And this is stuff that I brought over here, a light fixture and the faucet for the, for the bathroom vanity. So, man, very crazy. What in the hell were you doing, dude? Jesus. You know, I had that gut feeling. I was like, damn, I was over at the house and I didn't see that. So that's missing too. That's $140 plus the door. The door was about hundred bucks as well. Uh, the HVAC system, the $112 and 13 cent for the line set. Plus all of the other money that I've given you and work is not completed. This is crazy. All right, well, hopefully we're going to get some work done in here. We're going to get all of the ceiling sheet rocked. Uh, I don't know about this area right yet because we're going to have a window that's going right there. We got to get this finished insulated. And I don't know why he stopped. Maybe there was a reason why he stopped. Where's the other water line? Is there, ain't there supposed to be like a, a red and a blue? Oh, well. Hopefully, 
we'll at least get something done over here and we're moving in a in the right direction hopefully all right well this wasn't what the game plan was supposed to be I wasn't trying to come over here and be freaking out about the way that this looks because this looks really bad I'm trying to be patient with these young dudes but damn it man <sighs> alright so anyways I was going to tell y'all what Brian said to us and folks I'm getting ready to read you this message that I received from him on Sunday and this right here is absolutely crazy Sunday was the deadline and like I was telling you uh, I was under the impression I was going to hear from this guy. You know, he knew I was going to be taking legal action if he did not hit me up. And folks, what he said verbatim is this. 